congratulations, Pep. You're into the last eight of the Champions yeah. League. You pleased by the manner you you got there? Uh, yeah, the second half we drop a little bit after the goal, no concede. Uh, we drop. Uh, we didn't. Well, we arrive in a little bit lateral positions, and make movements in behind, and and we didn't do it, and we struggle a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's difficult sometimes with zero five if you try to avoid the you know the counter attacks and. But they're very pleased because in, in both games, uh, yeah, we deserve to win quarterfinals. The, ch the, the Champions League debutants made an impression, didn't they? CJ, Ingram, Riley, McAtee, Mbete. How did you feel they played? Uh, yeah, CJ played really good. Uh, didn't miss one ball. And uh, he's a guy like he's, he's a seven. He's nothing exceptional in anything. But uh, that is a good sign as a, as a defender. He doesn't make mistakes. And... Uh, yeah, and after the guys, Scott Carson could play. So, yeah, uh, we thought about that. The first half was okay. So, give 45 minutes to to Bernardo and Phil, and 45 the other guys. And Scott Carson saved. Pretty impressive. Yeah, <laughs> it's really one good. way to make him not impact. Really good. Yeah, he deserved it. It's uh, so important for us in the locker room, and uh, yeah, it helps to you know to Eddie and Zach be be calm, and, and yeah, it was good for him. Fernandinho has been given the Man of the Match award. I mean, is, is, that was his hundredth Champions League appearance. Wow. That's, a, that's a great experience. But you've had inevitable change. You've, you know, you've said goodbye to Torre, company, David Silva, Aguero. Is he a player that you want to keep hold of just because of the influence he has? I will see the end of the season, so he knows it. So, we still have uh, two or three months ahead of us, and with the club, he's going to sit with him and the agent. They're going to <coughs> take, <coughs> of course, the best decision for. For the club of him, you've got through to the last eight with no fuss, really. If, if you go back a decade, this would be a great moment for the club. And now it's the bar is set so high that we just expect Manchester City to be in the last eight. Is that is that right? That's a good sign. Mm. So, before never count, the people didn't care absolutely what uh, we were, and uh, the last decade, uh, yeah, step by step. The, the club grew up, and for many years we are there. You know, every season in the Champions League, playing this competition and and qualifying for the last 16, and now we are again in quarterfinals. So the last, the best eight teams in Europe. And I'm I'm a guy who learned through the you know the time to enjoy the moment. So when I qualify for the next season, play the Champions League, that night I celebrate it. I because I know how difficult it is. And when you are in group stage, you qualify for the last 16, I celebrate it because I know how difficult it is. And when you go through, every opponent is, is difficult. And, and yeah, so now it's time to, <coughs> to congratulate everyone and yeah, focus in the Premier League. And next week, we will see the draw. Thank you, Pat. You're welcome.